Well, alrighty, everybody. Um, welcome back to uh, the Domar Saga. <laughs> the 7900, there it is up on the, the vice there um, in my wheel and everything. So this is the one that I'm trying to um, salvage <laughs> as, as it was because of the sloppy bearing cases, um, case bearings, let's put it that way. And then I uh, put them in there with some of that um, bearing it's actually the sleeve retainer goop so it, it seems like it's solidified and so anyways um i said i wasn't really going to do much work um to the cylinder i i kind of got in and um i did do a little bit you see on the corners there just a little bit and a little bit widening of the intake just kind of help my stealth um so I don't think I necessarily ruined it. Um, I cleaned the cleaned it up a little bit with the carbon that was in there, and uh, the exhaust. I'm uh, got to polish up, uh, but really I didn't do. Except you can see that darker area up there. Uh, that didn't change the the top of the timing, uh, and so I uh, haven't done any of that. Um, yeah, a couple little. Um, yeah, <laughs> see a little mark up in there, but that's nothing. That's really can't even feel it. It's just like a little glaze with with it. Um, I try to get some of these marks out. Um, basically, uh, might as well I'm trying to uh, salvage a uh, a cylinder and piston. And uh, so it's 52 millimeters. Um, they're actually lightweight pistons as it is. You really don't need to do much lightening on these things. And another one is when it, it goes in there and it drops all the way bottom dead center, um, looking at the relief of, um, it's cutting off some of the, the intake port or the um, transfers. So the upper transfers get blocked by a little bit um, by the edge lip here. And so what I did is, is I went and, and reliefed it in here, as you can kind of see um um was sander and, and dremel just a, a little bit to give it full opening when it's that drop bottom dead center now that does change your timing numbers a little bit uh just for comparison i have this um about the same size uh 52 millimeter i think it's uh what was that out of i think that's uh a 50 millimeter out of uh Man, I can't remember what that was. Maybe a 440, uh, 50 millimeter. But anyways, this one, without any work done, weighs the same as this one. Uh, so, <laughs> like I said, and this is 50, it's 52. So you can kind of see that these are lightweight pistons. So if I screw up, uh, at least I didn't change my numbers too much on this. And then, as you can kind of see here, uh, let me get the, the gasket. Um, I did flow the bottoms um, a little bit and uh, show you put the gasket on there and um, get this situated and then what you see um, something to point with what you're seeing in here is the the bulk of my work was actually up on this side Let's see if I can get this correct for you guys so you can kind of see the bulk of the work was basically on this side. Let's put that up there like that. There we are. And so, as it was, it had, uh, there it is, let me focus here. It had a, an area in here, like right around here where the end of the screwdriver is, that was blocking off. So, so basically all I'm doing to the lowers, not really widen them out, I'm, I'm basically just matching them port case flow matching is what I would call it. So just a little bit in here. So it takes us, there was a substantial uh, edge in here, break up in here. And so uh, I kind of got that back down to where it flows a little bit. And then this one is the exhaust side. So this is, is the primaries. Look in there, a primary is actually kind of on the small side on both sides. And then the secondary is bigger, right? So. Anyways, I, 
you know, if, you, if one wanted to, they could go back in here and widen this section out in here. It looks rather thick right in the camera, right? You could, um, but other than that, um, that's about it. Till next time.